John, tell us about uh, the US airstrikes overnight. So Biden finally got round to retaliating for the three deaths of uh, American soldiers. Ronald Reagan would have been a bit swifter, I imagine, as would uh, Donald Trump, I imagine. But tell us uh, your reaction to the US strikes and what it, what it means going forward. Well, I think the key point here, Rowan, is that since last October, there have been 170 attacks by mm -hmm. Iranian proxies on American personnel and American assets in the Middle East. It took 170 attacks culminating in the deaths of these three military personnel and, and wounding of 40 other American military personnel. And finally, after giving days of warning, the Biden administration responded with uh, 85 airstrikes. And I hope they did some damage. The, the casualties being claimed by the other side are kind of amazingly low. Uh, so, so I hope they actually struck some significant targets. Uh, yeah, and what's part of what's going on here, Rowan, is that all along here since October, the mantra of the Biden administration, whenever we're attacked, has been, we don't want a wider war. We don't want a wider war. That is wider than the war between Israel and Hamas. Well, the problem is that if you come across as being weak, you increase the risk of a wider war. And I think that may be what we're doing. Rita. John, um, I've just returned from the US and I would have thought, given what prices are doing there, the cost of living crisis would be the number one issue in this coming election. But it is what James was talking about, illegal immigration, Biden administration setting record after record. What's going to be the resolution there? Is there going to be a last minute executive order to do something meaningful about this? Or are we going to go to the election with this at crisis point? Well, Rita, the Democrats are doing what they've done before. They realize this is a terrible, terrible political issue for them. Americans are up in arms about the millions of illegals streaming across the southern border, and Biden has deliberately opened that border. There's, there's no question about it. So what they're trying to do now is to sucker Republicans in Congress into voting for some kind of a compromise bill that will have the effect. No one's seen the text yet, by the way. No, one's, no one knows what's actually in this bill. But you can predict that what it's going to do is legalize large numbers of illegal immigrants, mm -hmm. exchange for which Joe Biden will belatedly uh, take a few half-hearted measures to try to stem the tide. And that their goal there is to turn the fiasco of the southern border into a bipartisan problem, dragging Republicans on board. I hope they don't fall for it. James. Well, I mean, it's really interesting how this is capturing everybody's attention here. And the, some of the text I've heard about that bill suggests that when the number of illegal crossings gets too high, they can shut down the border, which begs the question why they don't shut it down to begin with. But, John, Elon Musk earlier today tweeted that basically what's going on here is they want to let as many illegals into the country as they can with the idea of eventually granting them citizenship through amnesty and creating a whole new tranche of Democrat voters forever. Are people starting to wake up to this being the eventual con that's going on by the left in terms of pumping up the population for their side, uh, you know, and then giving them an amnesty? Well, the people I know are catching on to it, James. I think an important point to make is that all this wailing about how Joe Biden somehow doesn't have the power to stop this is ridiculous. Mm. Donald Trump mm. stopped it. And Joe Biden reversed those policies. Under yeah. existing law, the president of the United States has plen plenary authority to stop immigration of any category if he determines that it is in the best interests of the United States to stop that immigration. Joe Biden can do anything he wants to seal that southern border. He just doesn't want to do it. And I think I think many, many people have figured that out.